Alright, hello, this is Whitehead King. If you uh, are just starting watching it now, a part 11, I don't know why it would be though. Okay, so let's just make a part 11 folder, which I should have already done. So, part 11. And put this in there, okay. And we're going to be working on the trees right now. So, usually I would m uh, move these new. Uh, uh, these new low poly pebbles into our little collection of stuff over here but these are nasty so these are just going to sit over in one of these junk layers where all the random stuff that is not going to be needed until very far on uh, goes okay so uh, when I say we're making trees I mean the uh, just display my image again I should really have this already open okay uh, I mean the big thick ones uh, you know doing stuff I'm not going to cover how to put the ivy on it, in fact, mm, you know what, I might, yeah, I'll uh, cover that in like an add-on tutorial, maybe, but really, it's just a waste of time, to be honest, putting ivy on it, because uh, it doesn't really do much, and it just makes weird shadows everywhere, so we're not going to put ivy on in this particular tutorial, but a tutorial will come uh, as an extension onto this that will teach you how to do that, maybe. Okay, so what we're doing now, uh, oh yeah, I've already said the big thick tree, so let's just, let's just get into that now, so let's just close this. Okay, so to make one of these trees, it's really quite simple, we just need to add in, as you were probably expecting, we need to add in a cylinder, and uh, I'm just going to give it 16 vertices, okay, and I'm just going to go to edit mode, and press G, Z1, like that, or GZ1, sorry, because... As I've said in my previous tutorials, as most of my watches are American, I may as well say things the American way. Alright, so what we're going to do is just get rid of the... Oh, I haven't... has it been filled up? Is there an N-GON there? Yes, they have added in an N-GON. Yeah, it's important to get rid of N-GONs, because we're going to be rendering this in Blender 2.62, because Blender 2.63 uh, has some weird problems in terms of rendering particles, I don't know why. But there's going to be a lot of particles and uh, it's best to render in 2.62. So, uh, with uh, this new cylinder that's nice and tall, we're going to add quite a few loop cuts. But really quite a few. Like that. And with these bottom things, we're just going to scale them out. And in the top view, uh, I'm going to press O to bring in proportional editing and just scale that way down and just sort of create these big roots coming out of the tree uh, like that and that way you know it just gets you know the, uh, the, the chances are that you will see one of the roots in the tree so you know putting them there just uh, adds more realism and it doesn't take that much time so you may as well okay you might just add a loop cut in those roots there to you know just play around with it even further just scale that in okay uh, give this smooth shading now and okay now we're ready for the next part which is just a uh, nice displacement over the top so I'm gonna add a subdivision surface to it followed by a displacement followed by another subdivision surface and with this displacement, we're just going to add a new material, call it Tall Tree. And, um, yeah, okay, so let's get into the textures. And I'm going to add a new texture. And it's going to be called the Tall Tree Carl, like that. And it's going to be, uh, sorry, Tall Tree Disp, because the color's coming in later. And just uncheck that so it doesn't affect the material. And I'm going to make the depth and the size 0 0.05 okay that might be a bit too small but who cares a uh, tall tree disc okay that seems to just be right okay and I'm gonna set the strength down to a 0 0.05 uh, sorry no point, point 0.5 okay and that's not looking too bad and it's gonna come oh it's already coming out the normal so that's good okay now yeah, with the uh, yeah with the the roots now because we've added the subsurf uh, they're looking a bit funny so if we just sort of uh, emphasize the extra uh, yeah I guess the extrusion of them uh, just make pull them out pull the 
You basically go inside, pull them in closer to the tree, and you basically go outside, pull them further out, like that. And there we go. Um, that's not looking too bad. So, yeah, okay. Uh, now we need to add in the uh, the twigs that are coming out of it. So, uh, that's quite simple. The way we're going to create these twigs is just by adding in another cylinder. Uh, setting this time to five vertices, because really these are just very small objects. And I'm going to press G, Z, and hold control and move them up. Okay, so now that we've got this uh, this cylinder here, we're just going to uh, bring it out over at the top like this, so just make it a bit longer. And scale it down. And of course we need to get rid of these end guns again. End guns are just faces with more than four vertices. Uh, in the CG world, that's what they are anyway. Like in the real world, that is not the right definition for. Uh, well, I don't even know if there's such thing as an end gun in the, the mathematical world. I, mean, I don't like maths. So, okay, this is looking a bit like a pencil now. So just scale that in like that, and uh, we're just going to add in. A texture to this, so give it smooth shading like that. And we're going to add in a material, and it can actually share the tree uh, material. So, uh, in fact, no, it can't. No, no, it can have the uh, tree twiglet. Twiglet, no, that's a stupid word. Tree, uh, yeah, twigs, tree, tree, twig. Yeah, just tree twig. Okay, and give it a new uh, texture, image or movie, and it's just going to be a tree bark seamless. Again, you can get these from cgtextures.com, uh, but these are coming straight from the Nature Academy. Uh, I'm going to go for brown, bumpy, dot jpeg. Okay, uh, I'll give it a bit of a bump map, so you know, 0.1 or whatever. And also, it can have the tube mapping. So, first of all, we need to actually apply the scale. And then we'll go to tube mapping. So, uh, coordinates to uh, tube. I don't know if the scaling thing only happens when it comes to you know, all texture coordinates or just UV, but I'm not sure. And, okay. And if I just make this brown colour, like that or something. And the specularity list not have give this much specularity but make it very hard so it's just very subtle okay and uh, okay that will do so with this now with the actual tree itself in fact no before I do that I want to add some loop cuts just like uh, can we do a fractal thing these days I don't know if just add loop cuts and then uh, I think I saw somewhere that you could do I like add Fractal loops. Um, right, nope. Seems that you can't. That's strange. Um, okay, before I just do that. Uh, so yeah, just with this now. Sorry about that. Some weird things happening in my nose. Right. Okay, just adjust these vertices. Just give a bit of randomised shape to it. Okay. I mean, this really won't make much of a difference at all, but, uh, you know, we may as well put it in. And that would do, actually. Uh, okay. And we can also rotate this like that. And we add a bit of geometry to it. Okay. And we just pop that up like that. Duplicate it. In fact, no, don't. Okay, let's just make this a bit smaller okay and there and now duplicate it and play around with it further like that okay and right yeah something like that would do uh, yeah. Right then, so let's just make one more. I mean, these are ugly. These 
not very well made, so. But you know, they're very just tiny little details, so. They're not, you know, don't have to worry too much about them, I mean, otherwise they'd be a much higher uh, polygon count than just whatever it is right now, like uh, 22 or whatever. Okay, so no, that's not right, so 5. Oh yeah, it's 22. Okay, so, oh yeah, delete the bottoms of these. As in the bottom vertices, in case you're weird. And, um, alright, uh, yeah, okay, so we can now select our tree and give it this uh, hardness of 250 on the specularity. Uh, and then remove the specularity. So, I'm going to be using a texture to generate the specularity. Alright, so what I'm going to do is select, go into the textures. I'm going to add a new texture, it's going to be a color, sorry, an image texture. This is going to be the color, so tool, tree, col, in color. And I'm going to open up that same image, the brown bumpy dot, uh, jpg, the same one that we use for the twigs. And I'm going to go to the tube mapping. And we come over here to this and just make it brown so we can actually see that this is a tree and not some random thing. Uh, okay, so under the image mapping, just increase the Y to like 20 or something, and then repeat on the X to 2. And then make that, make it repeat around the X on 4, and then let's see, so uh, maybe set this to 25. Alright, and now we can add a particle system to this. Uh, and uh, we can set it to the hair. And uh, what we can do is call this twigs, twigs, like that. So just call it twigs in both of these areas. And okay, uh, what we're going to do now is uh, in edit mode, just grab these areas here, just you know, box select, and maybe just get rid of those. Yeah, that, that looks about right. And under this thing here, add a new vertex group, call this twig area like that, press assign, and now that's where they will come out. So if we go to the vertex group, change the density to the twig area, like that, there we go. So now if we uh, uh, use advanced settings, I don't know why they've added in that advanced button, because I don't know why we wouldn't want to use advanced settings. Uh, we're going to choose random, and that way they're not all nicely lined up, so you can see if we change it to jittered, you can see uh, that. If we go to top view, they're in this nice orderly thing, and then if we just change to random now, then, uh, you know, they're, they're random, they're going randomly around the faces rather than in these nice orderly fashion, although it doesn't quite work too well. When there's, uh, in this particular shape, it, it, it's hugely more visible on planes. So, I'm going to set the number down to 100, and uh, with these twigs here, we'll put this just twig on. Oh dear, I can't type today. Twig one, twig two, and twig three. And now we're going to select all these, press Ctrl G, and call these twigs. Okay, and now in the tree, we're going to choose it to render as a group, and this group is going to be called twigs. And now, if we just tick rotation, uh, you know, things look a bit strange, so if we just press R, Y, 90, they will now be coming right out of the tree. So this looks like some spiky mess. It, it looks nice. So just bring down the size. I like that, increase the random size. And also, just make these a bit thinner. Oh, hang on. Uh, Okay. And that way, what we do is we're just getting thinner twigs, obviously. So, alright, now if we look at this, we can increase the size a bit more. And I also want to increase the number of it to 300 or something. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah. Right then, so. I mean, you know, it's. I look like a health hazard, but. I guess in nature you do get health hazards, so. You know. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. I mean, there's not much else we can do. I just increase the random size a bit more. I increase it all the way up to a wall or something. And. Okay. So now we've got that. Uh, we can now duplicate this tree. And change the seed. And maybe change the number. To about 200, maybe. Oh, sorry. Uh, press this 2, this is going to be twigs 2. And change this back up to 300. And. Yeah, I mean, there's not really much variation you can do with this, but let's see if we can change the seed of this displacement. I mean, I know there is a way you can do that, but I've never actually done it, so I don't it's like a, a thing. Maybe there isn't a seed, I'm just imagining it. Uh, no, okay, let's just leave it. I mean, yeah, let's just leave it. Okay, so. Yeah, we now have these two trees. In fact, we can actually vary the trunks of the trees, can't we? So just bring these out like that. Just get some really that sticks out. And... You know, we can just... Make this that... You know, just another tree. Let me just pull some of these in. Let me pull these ones out. Put back in. Okay. So just uh, vary the roots there. And maybe we can make the roots taller as well. Okay, there we go. And now we have uh, a new-ish tree. Maybe we just slide this down so it's edge slide. So, Control E, and then choose edge slide. And maybe just adjust this a bit like that. Okay, there we go. And yeah, we are now done, I suppose. And uh, let's just duplicate it one more time and make it thinner. To do that, just select uh, parts of it, yeah, the bit where you want, to be, uh, you want it to be thinner, press S, Shift Z, then, you know, I'm going to turn on proportional editing, just so that it sort of, you know, the tree sort of goes with it, okay, so, something like that, and I just, maybe make this one a bit fatter or something, I don't know, I mean, you really do whatever you want to do with it, um, there's proportional editing on you, yeah. uh, right, select these, Okay, and make this fatter as well. Alright, so, yeah, there we go. We now have completed the trees after a lot of time. So, thanks for watching. Uh, please do join me in part uh, 12, where we will do uh, the shorter, the, you know, the, the, what are they? Frame. Okay, uh, trees like this one here. It's sort of a, like the, a normal tree, except it's dead. Okay, so yeah, join me for that. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.